Just starting off by looking at these, there is a slight difference in coloring. You can see this one's a little bit more bluish while this one's a little bit more white. Looking at the image quality of the photo, this one does look a little bit worse than this one right here. Also, just going based off touch, this one does have a lot more premium feel to it than this one. Just to show you what I mean, this one over here pushes down a lot more than this one does. Flipping it over to the back here, you can see there is a little bit of different styles in the way they do this, but overall the information on it is the same, except for the sticker down on this one. I am wondering if the fake one is an older model one. Looking at the top, you can see a little bit of difference in this design right here. However, the pull tabs overall look pretty similar, with this one looking a little bit nicer than this one over here. On the side here, you can see this looks pretty much identical with this one coming in with a different language and this one being a little bit lighter. On the bottom, you can see quite a big difference here as this one has a serial number and everything while this one does not. So let's go ahead and open these up now. I'm gonna start with this one right here. So as you can see, this is what it looks like when you pull it out. It's got this interesting tab that you have to unhook. And then there's a little piece of paper with directions and instructions on it. Opening this up, you can see the cord just starts unwinding and you can just simply pop that out right there. So that's what this one looks like. Go ahead, put this to the side. Now we're gonna go ahead and open up this one. As you can see, this one came with a lot more instructions to it uh, with the Apple logo on it itself, and it looks a lot more professional. Going to the box here, you can see this one opens from the front and it has it designed by Apple written on it. So when we open this one up, you can just feel the premium difference, not only material, but also the way it looks. We have to pull a couple tabs here pop out the charging port, and then pull out the charger. And that's what this one looks like right here. Just holding these, you can feel the difference in how well they're built and the quality of material as well. To show you what I mean, this one has a very nice and soft comforting back that you know isn't gonna scratch the back of your phone. And this one is a little bit rougher and it feels more plasticky. Sound wise, you can hear the difference. Looking at the official one here, you can see it has some symbols and letters on the bottom of it, while on the other one, it does not have anything. The charging plugs look pretty much identical, and I really can't tell which is which. Which side is which? It's holding it like this. So this is the real one, that's the fake one. Looking at the cord here, you can see that this one has designed by Apple written on it, whereas the fake one does not. I think the fake one looks a little bit thicker, we can find out right here with this. Go ahead and measure it. Six millimeters for the fake one. And the real one is about 5.5 millimeters. Now that we've looked at all the differences, let's see if we actually notice any difference in functionality. Here we have an iPhone 14 Pro. So here's our fake one. Doesn't seem super strong. Can't lift the iPhone. Here is our real one. That feels like a much sturdier connection. Way more stable. Let's see if we can pick it up. Sure enough. So that is a lot stronger, a lot solider, and that's gonna hold it a lot better, which is what you want for this. That's not to say that this one's terrible, because it will do the job. Oh, oh, this one's picking up, oh, inconsistent. So sometimes it can pick it up, sometimes it can't. This one, this one's strong enough to get it every time. So there's obviously a difference in their magnet strength, but how well do they charge? So let's start with the fake one here. So it seems to be charging okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and unplug the fake one, if it will come, there we go, and try the official one here. As you can see, it is charging, which I guess is good since it's the official one. However, I should mention that this one felt like it took longer before it started charging. Yeah, that took significantly longer than the off-brand one. And maybe that's an advantage that I just don't understand.